<laughs> I got a book to unbox again, and I'm way over too much in the screen. So I'm just gonna go, scoot, scoot. I know, I know, I know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Hi, I'm back for another book opening, book unboxing. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. This is trash. What? All right, ready? One, two, three. Journey of Awakening and Higher Consciousness by Jane K. Mew. Oh, this is big font. If you look at my book with big font, here you go. It is just over 200 pages. Go ahead and read a little shortened version of the summary. That's a big summary. I'll read the first paragraph and the last paragraph, but I'll put the whole thing up so you can read if you want. And it's also in the description. In a world filled with chaos and distractions, Journey of Awakening and Higher Consciousness takes readers on a profound and transformative journey towards enlightenment higher consciousness, and the boundless power of love and spirituality. This inspirational book, written by a renowned spiritual guide, explores the depths of the human soul and invites readers to embark on a quest to discover their tru truest selves. I'm stumbling today. Here's the last one. Uh, with its poetic prose and timeless wisdom, Journey of Awakening and Higher Consciousness invites you to embark on a transformative voyage transcending the limitation of the ordinary to embrace the extraordinary. Whether you are a seeker on a spiritual path or someone looking to infuse your life with greater depth and purpose, this book will resonate with your heart and soul, guiding you towards the radiant light of higher consciousness, love, and enlightenment. Prepare to awaken your heart and set your spirit free. So that's this one. I'm going to start reading it. I will let you know how it goes. If you'd like to read along or if you'd like to get it for yourself, the link is in the description so you can pause it now and then just come back after you've read it we can share compare thoughts all right i will let you know journey of awakening and higher consciousness was a nice and gentle read it's, that's i know it's a weird word to use gentle for a book but the way that this book is written with its poetic nature and its uplifting messages is very nice. Often you see self-help books that are like, if you do this and you do this and da 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 da. But this is more of a warm hug, I think. It's less of a how-to and more of a, I believe in you. And it's so nice. Here's something I've highlighted. As we step out into the world, we become the light for others, not because we want to or have to, but because we naturally are. And I thought that was really nice. Because no matter who you are, what you do, where you go, what lifestyle you live, you will always impact someone. It reminds me a lot of different religions and their beliefs on self-forgiveness and peace and all that. But as a Christian, it reminds me a lot of the Bible and how we're supposed to practice self-forgiveness and forgiving others. And you don't have to be a Christian to read this. It's just, I derive a lot of similarities or I look for a lot of similarities from the Bible or because I grew up reading it, it just automatically happens. It's just the same thing of we are the light to other people. It's like we are the light of the world. We are sitting on a hill, you know? This book is more poetic than normal self-help books. And I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, it was it was a nice change of pace. It was it added to the beauty of the images that you're already seeing through the words the author was putting in front of you. The author shares her story in the beginning or toward the beginning or kind of throughout, but uh, more toward the beginning. And while I was reading it, ugh, my heart having that backstory in there really connected me to the author, and I was grateful for that connection. It was it was nice. Long story short. This is a great book. It is a breath of fresh air and it feels warm and the imagery is beautiful. I highly recommend it. I will put the link below with the description. So check that out if you are interested. I did also make a trailer for it. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you next time. What happens when the thinking aspect of you calms down? comes to a slow standstill and then stops completely. All you are left with is fear. The land of milk and honey, as they say. The land of blissful, unadulterated, pure, raw feeling. The truth of who you are at your core. That yes, you are in love and you are love true. 
That love is the only reality, the only thing that is real, and the only thing that exists. Awaken your inner fire and bring passion and purpose back into your life with Journey of Awakening and Higher Consciousness by Jane Kenyon.